Hey, it's Drybear. Dragon's Dogma 2 is full of 10 interesting vocations that not only can you play and implement in your party, you can use as your party man's vocation as well to make your own party experience, but you can also share the augments, the passives that each of the vocations have with your other vocations to create your own playstyle. Four of these vocations are available at character creation, the archer, the thief, the fighter, and the mage, but the rest of the vocations, the other six, are unlocked throughout your story. They each have specific actions you need to take, quests you need to follow, and NPCs that you need to find, and it's possible that you may go your entire playthrough without finding one of them. But it's also possible to rush straight to the trainer you're looking for to change into the vocation you've been looking forward to when playing Dragon's Dogma 2 early on in the game. So today we're going to walk through all six of the unlocked vocations, how you unlock them, where to go, and everything that you need to know. Now the first two vocations, the Sorcerer and the Warrior, you will find those in a separate video covered with the full length of the quest, where to go, and step-by-step -step instructions. But the summary for these two is that you will find these as soon as you go to for month, the first capital of the game, and if you go to the Vocation Guild and talk to the Vocation, he will give you a quest to retrieve the weapons of the Sorcerer and Warrior, the Archstaff, and the Greatsword. Follow this quest line and you unlock these two vocations for both you and your main pawn. The last four vocations are advanced or arisen only vocations, and those, these need to be found throughout the world later on in the story. However, once you progress fast enough, you will see a red arisen marker on your map showing the location of these four trainers that give you the vocation as well as giving you the hidden skills for them as well, as each of these trainers doubles as the maester for this vocation, which gives you secret unlocks for abilities on that vocation. After the sorcerer and the warrior, the first easiest is going to be unlocking the trickster, which is a support focused class, a brand new vocation style that we haven't really seen too much in many games and that it focuses on misdirecting the enemy, buffing allies, and doing indirect damage through their party. So if you're looking for something new or different or somewhat challenging in order to figure out how you're going to approach each battle, check out the trickster. And this one just requires you to find the trickster maester the oracle and talk to her for the first time and as soon as you do that you will unlock this vocation it will just be a quick hike over to the area where she is located which is right here on the main map so if you start here with the border watch outpost where your character will spawn in for the first time after the intro sequence you'll be moving towards melv in the first story segment and then you'll be able to take an ox core or walk your way down over here to vernworth castle inside of the capital however if you're looking for the oracle to give you the trickster vocation you just have to head west over the, the waters here and come down down through this path past the checkpoint rest town you will be able to find ox carts traveling from the capital in vernworth or vermund vernworth here to travel over to the checkpoint rest town and then you will be able to go down here to luz which is the oracle inside of the entryway of the desert area of batal now one thing to keep in mind is that there is a gate here right next to the checkpoint uh town that you'll have to use some story quest line options to get to but if you don't want to do that you can actually go north of the town and then head west down along this path and come around to skip the checkpoint in order to get to Patal anyways there's also an alternate path route here where you can go across this bridge and then go south through these cavern systems on the eastern wall the seabed over here and then come down into Bak Patal and then come back up that way over into Luz but talking to her will unlock the trickster vocation for you the next easiest is unlocking the mystic spear hand and I didn't put him first you can access, access him very quickly in the game but the challenge with him is that he moves around quite a lot in fact all you have to do is find this man and talk to him and then if you just talk to him you'll unlock the mystic spear hand vocation however depending on where you are in the story he might be in different areas of the world so let's walk through where he might be depending on your story progression if you're still in Vermont in the first region early on in the game you will have to progress from the starter intro sequence to the capital and then do one quest for the commander for the captain in order to unlock him and then at some point along this path you will get a quest from the ox cart vendor inside of Vermund that will allow you to travel to Melv and you'll have a quest to take a letter to Melv and at some point you'll just move that cart to Melv and when you arrive in Melv there will be an infected plague dragon there. When you're fighting the plague dragon Sigurd will appear as part of the fight and if you talk to him afterwards you'll be able to unlock the vocation. Even if you don't do the ox cart quest 
past, if you if enough days pass in game, you'll be able to head to Melv and the infected dragon will be there anyways, even though you didn't start the sequence from the ox cart, and then you'll find him after this fight. However, if you don't talk to him after this fight and you skip it, you will have another few chances to speak with him. So if you miss that opportunity in Melv, the next place you'll find him is actually in Bak Bathal, the uh, Bak Batal, the capital of Batal here in the main city. You will find him on the streets wandering around and you'll be able to speak with him there. You'll actually get an escort quest from him as, as well that you might be able to do, but you'll find him in this town if you look uh, all over the place for him, you'll find him. He'll give you an escort quest to take you uh, to take you up to the cavern, Guerco Cavern, and, and just above here for this. And once you have that, you'll be able to unlock the vocation, but you can miss him in this town as well. If you happen to miss him in Mach Batal, you'll find him again at the Dragon's Breath Tower. The big thing here is that when you cross down towards the southwest from Bach Bethal, you'll find this giant tower, the Dragon's Breath Tower, and this is actually where the infected plague dragon flies to after your encounter in Melv, and you'll find out that Sigurd is actually just dedicated his life to hunting dragons and that's why he followed the infected dragon here to kill it. So you actually, as you're walking up on the Dragon's Breath Tower, he'll come up behind you and interact with you to trigger a cutscene, talk to him, you'll get the uh, vocation for Mystic Spearhand and he'll have a quest for helping him kill the dragon here as well, but this is the third opportunity you'll have to meet him to unlock the Mystic Spearhand vocation. I don't know if there's any way to miss this opportunity here. I think no matter what, at least from what I've seen in other playthroughs, no matter what, if you come to Dragon's breath for the first time Sigurd will be here and will interact with you no matter what but if for some reason you miss that you will find him after Dragon's Breath Tower after you defeat the dragon back in Bach Batal and he'll give you the escort quest if you didn't do it before and if you miss the escort quest or you somehow fail it by letting him go he will show up again inside of Harv Village up here in the south of the Vermund area so you'll find him here on the coast you can talk to him and if you missed somehow missed all those chances to unlock the vocation you'll find him here for the unlock of Mystic Spearhand. The next easiest to unlock is the Magic Archer, and this does require you to be a little bit further in the story, as you will have to have made your way into Batal either by sneaking in past the border or finding a permit that allows you to get past this gate here inside of the Batal area or sneaking through the caverns on the eastern seaboard in order to get down into Bak Batal. Then you go southwest down here and you want to find your way to Drabnir's Grotto. When your map is not revealed, you can still see this watery area. You just need to go past Bak Batal here, go past this water and come down. When you enter into Drabnir's Grotto, follow this pathway through and when you get to the other side, you will find your way into the Volcanic Island area. And just inside of that, when you first enter the Volcanic Island area, head along the west side, like to your left, so going north, and go up to a little cottage on side of the mountainside here where you will meet Cladonna. When you try to enter into her home, she will come out and shoo you away as she doesn't like strangers or visitors, but there is a way to win her over. And that is if you find her husband wandering around on the roads. He's basically anywhere from the entrance of the volcanic islands all the way over to the lower area in front of the the main building, their little cottage here. So if you wander these roads, you should find him walking, holding his back because he has back pain. Speak with him and he'll say that if he could get some wildflowers, he'll be able to cure his back. If you have any, you can just give them to him directly. Or if you don't, you can go pick some around you and come back and give it to him. But you want to complete this quest. Once you give it to him, he will thank you for your kindness and then say that you should meet him at his home where he can thank you further. Heading back to the cottage, you find out that he is actually the husband of Cleodonna, but she's hesitant to believe him and has to trust you. He then says that he wants to cure his back by going to the hot springs and he says that he's going to go there whether she likes it or not and then you can ask him directly say hey I'll escort you if you're worried about monsters on the road. Escort him safely all the way over to the hot springs in the volcanic island camp and once you do you'll find out that Cladonna was following you the entire time and says that she finally trusts you and reveals that she is the magic archer maester. She will unlock the magic archer vocation for you and grant you a special skill. Also so right when you exit into the hot springs, there will be a drunkard on the ground right next to the entrance where you can enter into the hot springs. And this is actually the last vocation trainer, the Warfarer trainer. This man reveals to you that he was a past arisen who did not slay his dragon, and he's looking for some newt liquor in order to win his favor. You need to give him a total of three newt liquors, and they're a little bit harder to get if you're early on in the game. You'll find one inside of Cladonna's house on the table, and that gets you one of the three. You just need to find two 
more. If you've been collecting a lot of berries along the way and killing saurians, if you have a saurian tail and fruit wine, you can make your own newt liquor by crafting it. There's a few places you can find newt liquor randomly in chests and around the world as well, but the most consistent way is to buy it from a vendor in Bakbathal. And that is going to be right here in Bakbathal with Higgs Tavern Stand. The problem with this is Higgs only trades with Beastrin, so if your character is a Beastrin, you can simply trigger the quest to open up to talk to him and you'll be able to buy the newt liquor from him for 5,000 gold to pop. And since you only need two, since you already got one for free at Cladonna's house, you'll be able to just buy this out for 10,000 gold and then unlock the Warfarer vocation. When you first arrive at Higgs Tavern Stand, you won't be able to gain entry. You'll have to go downstairs, pick up one of the bales of hay, put it down inside of the area, and someone nearby will tell you that you are not supposed to do that and he'll lead you inside to talk to Higgs. However, this is only possible if you are a Beastrin. If you are a human character and you do this, you will actually be immediately attacked by guards because you're considered a thief. So if you're not a Beastrin by default, you'll need to use a Beastrin disguise, which you can find at the Checkpoint Border Town. Go to Checkpoint Rest Town, go inside, and then find the Ibrahim's Scrap Store, where you'll be able to find a Beastrin mask that you can buy for him. And while wearing this, everyone around you will think you are a Beastrin. Simply do the quest we just talked about it at Higgs Tavern Stand, and you'll be able to enter with the same process. Then simply go back to the Hot Springs, give the trainer for the Warfarer the three total newt liquors that you have on you, and you'll instantly unlock the Warfarer profession. Now the regions here will naturally progress as you go through the story and you'll be able to unlock these but if you don't know exactly where you are where they are it's very easy to walk right past them and miss these vocations. But I'm curious what everyone's party makeup is right now in their playthrough. Comment down below what your four vocation combinations are for you and your three pawns in the party and which vocation you're playing as your main vocation and which one you find your favorite. If you found value in today's video leave a like down below leave a comment for the algorithm to help this video get seen by more people and don't forget to check out my other channels for other content and other stuff and other things.